Hey guys, I'm going to talk about a Win32 API method and I'm just going to hope that you learn something from it. I have no real objective with this method. And so what you do with these methods when you want to use them, look it up on MSDN and read the entire page to make sure that you know everything. They're not so long, they're not as long as, long as you think they are. And uh, after that, go to pinvoke.net and copy the, the signature into your code and then the flags. You can have flags for several different things. In my case I have flags for the second parameter and flags for the last parameter. Before you start copying and pasting stuff it's important to know what set, set last error is and what uh, how the marshalling works. Marshalling is just going to let the managed environment be more aware of the unmanaged method calls and so private static extern bool bool is going to return zero if uh, an error occurs in the method otherwise it's going to return a non-zero value okay let's go to back to code and take a look at the signature okay so the first parameter in the signature is going to be our affected window handle the second parameter is going to either be a window handle or another Z order indication. This is going to indicate where on the Z order the form should be placed. The Z order is just going to be how it's painted, if it's in front of another window or not. So there's four different uh, Z order indicators down here. So you can just bring it to front, send it to back when the method's called, uh, bring to front and stay on top of other windows that do not have this flag set. So basically just setting topmost on the window to true and you can disable topmost as well. So other than these flags here you can pass in a window handle like I said and I do believe the window handle is just a way of placing the uh, current affected window on the Z order in relation to the window being passed in here. So you can kind of place it in front of another window but not necessarily in front of all. I do believe that's how it is. Okay and the third parameter is the X position the Y position, the width, and the height. And the naming convention, it's always going to say CX. I don't know if that's corner X or coordinate X. Basically just the X position of the bottom right hand corner of the window in relation to the upper left hand corner. But it's a lot easier just to refer to it as width and height. And then you've got your last parameter which accepts flags. So we're going to set the topmost value to true using this method just going to bring the form to top and uh, keep it on top of the other windows that don't have this property set. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. So let's go to the uh, event handler here. And I'm calling set window pose, passing in the current form's handle. Then I'm going to pass in one of the flags. It's going to be an integer, so topmost to specify that we want the form to be on top of all other forms. And we've got to convert it to an int pointer because this uh, parameter can also accept uh, Windows handles. And I'm specifying that we do not want to size or move the form because, of course, we're just bringing it to the top of the Z buffer. We don't need to size or move. And I'm just passing in a bunch of random values for the size and uh, moving values to show that it doesn't really affect anything because we have these flags set over here. So let's uh, click on the topmost value again, brings it to top, doesn't move it, doesn't size it. Okay, next we're going to look at the position on the click event handler. So I'm going to click on the position button. It's just going to position the form uh, a bit inwards. Okay, again we're going to pass in the current handle of the window. And then we're going to set the um, Z buffer thing to HWMD top, which is going to bring it to front pretty much. It's not necessarily going to keep it in the front. And then we're going to place the form at uh, 100 pixels by 100 pixels. And I'm going to pass in a bunch of random values because it doesn't really matter for the size because I'm passing in the no size flag. So again, position and it doesn't resize. So this specific code here is going to expand the form until it uh, fills the working space and it's going to be unstable either way just because of the um, requirements but uh, typically if you use Windows calls to move and resize your form it's going to be a bit faster 
I had to do this in one of my projects when I was sliding the forms or sliding a single form from corner to corner of the screen because it was a it's kind of like a gadget and it would not animate very fast until I actually called the um, set windows pose method so let's take a look at the flags and I'm probably just gonna take a guess at some of them hide windows obviously just gonna hide the window and no activate probably just um, keeps the window from receiving focus when you resize it or something like that and then uh, no move specifies that it's not gonna move regardless of what you pass into it and no redraw keeps the form from redrawing so if you have a big image in your form and you're resizing your form or animating it you may want to use this flag it will keep the uh, image within it from redrawing no reposition it's different from no move but I really don't know what it is no size of course it's going to keep the form from resizing no Z order probably keeps the window on its current uh, location in the Z buffer and the show window flag here is simply going to show the window if it's hidden that's pretty much it for this method other than you uh, may want to create a wrapper for a lot of this method if you're going to be using it extensively you can actually create uh, enumerations from all of these different uh, flags here you can make a method that indirectly calls this user 32 method and have it accept the enumeration that you created and a form instead of a, a windows handle you may even want to have the method except a rectangle instead of just these XY width and height values and that's what wrappers are pretty much all about